Okay, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Now we continue on chapter 4 in part B, Non-Uniform Flow in Open Channel, part B. Okay, so now after we have learned the G, uh, v, uh, GVF profile based on the previous part A, okay, now we look at the analysis of GVF profile, okay. There are two basic assumptions uh, involved in the analysis of GVF. Okay, the pressure distribution at any section is hydrostatic. So, this is the basic assumption. Okay, the resistance to flow at any depth can be assumed using uniform flow equation, such as the Manning's equation with the condition that the slope term to be used in the equation is the energy slope and not the bed slope. Okay, thus, if uh, in a GVF, the depth of flow at any section is Y, the energy slope SF is given as this formula. Okay, so this formula is given. Okay, no need to worry. So, this formula of slope, okay, energy slope SF. So, where R is the hydraulic radius of the section at depth Y. Okay, the, the differential equation of GVF here, so we use the H here, the total energy H of a gradually varied flow in a channel of small, small slope is based on this formula and also actually from the specific energy formula here. Okay, uh, so you get the formula. Okay, since the water uh, surface varies in the longitudinal x direction, the depth of the flow and the total energy are function of x. Okay, uh, so the energy slope is based on the dh, dh over dx, okay, dz over dx plus dy dx plus d dx v squared over 2g here. So this is based on this concept. Okay, no need to worry about this one. Okay, we just follow this equation, okay. Okay, actually this equation is given okay all this equation is given okay no need to worry okay uh, so you must find the dy over dx okay uh, so this is an dynamic equation of gvf gradually very flow so based on this concept so other form of dynamic equation of gvf is convergence k okay convergence k that we have learned that also in chapter 3 okay so this is also using in the GVF here the convergence at any depth y and k not k not is or convergence corresponding to the normal depth. Okay, uh, so we use the k of here for GVF. Okay, k not is q over s not here is for uniform flow. Uh, so this is based on this one. Okay, so if z section, so the this is the z section at depth y and z three. So we use the z section here based on the z2 here okay actually z section is for the critical that y c so we get the here okay uh, actually based on the the z here okay dy over dx or also dy over dx based on the z okay uh, so maybe the the z here okay or g so we use the Here, okay. Uh, so the the using the direction direct actually based on the section factor here. So this equation is useful in developing direct integration technique. So this is the technique for GVF. Okay. So if Q not represents the normal discharge at the depth y not and y c denotes that the critical discharge at the same depth. So we use this formula. Also this formula. Okay, so using this definition, the GVF dynamic equations can be rewrite, okay, rewritten as this formula. So don't worry. Okay, all the formula for GVF is always given in final. Okay, so no need to worry. Okay, you just know how to use that formula. Okay, so the formula is given. So that's you just use that formula to calculate based on the question okay uh, so now another form of the gvf dynamic equation is de over dx based on s naught minus by sf okay this equation is called the differential energy equation of gvf to distinguish it from the other gf differential equation okay this energy equation is very useful in developing numerical technique for the gvf profile computation okay so now analysis of gvf profile 
is important because they can determination of the effects of the hydraulic structure to the flow in addition due to dam or wheel construction and estimation of flat area. So maybe in the final ask you to list the importance about GVF profile. So you can list these three point here. Okay, determination of the effect of the structure to the flow in addition due to dam of wheel construction and estimation of flat area. So so for GVF profile we have three method okay three method for calculation the GVF profile the using the direct integration method using the numerical integration method and direct step okay so there's three method okay three method to find the GVF analysis profile direct integration numerical integration and direct step so now we look at the Using the calculation of GVF profile, so we use the first here, direct integration. So we look at the direct integration. So you look at direct integration here. Okay, actually to get the GVF profile is based on the Y1 here. Y1 plus data Y1. Okay, Y1 plus data Y2 and so on. Okay, and you must find the data X1, X2 until the X and here to get the L here. To get the L. Okay. And change in depth of flow dy dx okay, can be calculated if y1 and yn plus 1 are known or l is known. Okay? Uh, so we can calculate the GVF when y1 and the y2 here, maybe the y1 here and the y n plus 1 here is known. Okay? And also we know that the l. Okay? So you can calculate the GVF profile. Now we look at the direct integration method, the first method here. Okay, the first method here is between two sections, xy and y1, x2 and y2. Okay, uh, so actually all this long formula is given. Okay, uh, so the direct integration. Okay, so this is more complicated formula. Okay, uh, so they have the long here. Okay, but you must understand how to use this direct integration here. Okay, where u, okay, u is to get the u here is y over y1 and y0. Then V is U power of N over J. And we know that J, J is this formula. And V is this formula. And this, okay. So this formula is given, okay. Uh, so, no, so all this formula is also given. This formula, this formula, this formula, and this formula is given, okay. Uh, so M, N is the hydraulic exponent. And M is the hydraulic exponent. is also given, okay. And F. U and N is very flow function. So this is the function and FVJ is the same function as this one. Okay, uh, so this using the table, the same table to get the F unit here and F here. They're okay, using the same function. Okay, uh, so now we look at the here. M is given here. Okay, M is equal to Y over A, T, and T and so on based on this one. Okay, actually. But m and n is given as here okay so for the rectangular section m is 3 n is 2 to 3.333 here and trapezoidal m is 3 to 5 n is 2 to here and triangular is here. actually m and n is given okay uh, so the 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 value is hydraulic exponent here for the m and n is given okay for trapezoidal channel when m okay to get the m here so you use this formula okay for trapezoidal channel okay if not given the m so you must use this formula if this formula is given okay and if not given usually the m is given as here okay when the section is rectangular the m is 3 okay and so on okay and that's also the n here okay if not given the value of here so you must find the n based on this formula okay if this formula is not given so you must they give you the value here. Okay, uh, so don't worry. Okay, based on the M and N is the give to you. The value of M and N is given to you. Okay, so now the this is the YB over YD, not here. Actually, the from to get the M. Okay, and uh, that's why we find the M here. Okay, so no worry. So M and N is given. Okay, in the final or question, in the question again okay, to get the M and N. Okay, this is also n this is for n 
the previous uh, this is figure is for m okay uh, so this given based on the list if not given the m uh, so they give you the this table so you must find based on this table here based on the z and so on okay uh, so now we look at the this is a very flow function for positive slope to use this f here okay function of u and function of n here u you look at this column for u here okay and here you just look at this column uh, and n is at this column okay uh, so you look at this column okay and so on so u n is also the same same here so you use the same concept here where it flow of this one okay okay so step in direct integration method so this is the step for indirect integration method okay first you must calculate y naught and y c okay determine n and m here okay calculate j calculate u and v calculate u and v is based on the here and the d here to find u and n and calculate length of the range length of the profile okay and this is the step for direct integration method so look at the activity 4.7 the example here a very wide river okay with many roundness and 0 0.035 has uniform depth of 3 meter and longitudinal slope of 0 0.0005 based on direct integration method so estimate the length of non-uniform flow produced by a wheel that caused the water surface to increase as much as 1.5 meter upstream of wheel okay so they give you the why not here 3 meter s not n and also the 4.5 here as the downstream here okay cause the water surface to increase as much 1.5 at the upstream here so this is upstream here okay from the 3 meter the rise to 1.5 meter we get the 4.5 meter okay uh, so you get the rise here okay uh, so first step one calculate y not and y c Okay, so why not they give you the 3 meter here? This is why not. Okay, they give you the why not is 3 meter. Okay, and after you get the why not, so because this is the rectangular very wide channel. Okay, uh, so we know that the R is equal to Y. Okay, so you use this formula to get the value of Q. Okay, uh, to get the Q, the rate. Okay, discharge. Okay, discharge per unit weight to get the value here actually meter cubic sorry meter cubic per second per meter okay actually the unit for q okay meter cubic per second per meter uh, so you get the so you get two here so you get this value okay so now after you get the q here you must find the yc okay so yc based on the rectangular so you use the yc is 1.175 so we know that y is 3 meter to 4.5 meter we get the y naught is 3 meter and yc is 1.175 here so they have is my profile okay because yc is 1.175 the y naught is 3 meter okay so y naught is more than yc so this is m1 profile okay now step two so determine m then n Okay, M and N. <coughs> so actually M and N is given as 3 here. N is 10.3 is actually 3.333. Okay, so this is the value that you will always use the M. Okay, so just remember that M is 3 and is 10 power over 3. So you get the value here. Okay, so calculate J. So when the M and N is given, so you must calculate the J based on this formula. Okay, so N is 3.333 N minus by M plus 1. So you get the 2.500, okay, to get the J. Okay, calculate U1, U2, V1 and V2, okay, because the U1, U2. So you want to calculate the U1 and U2, okay. This is actually is based on the formula, okay, for the direct integration method. Okay, uh, so you find the y1 here 3.003 okay actually uh, based on the 3.003 you just plus okay plus the 0 0.001 to 0 0.003 actually based on the y naught okay 
y not plus the 0 0.001 so that's why you get the y1 is 3.003 okay uh, actually the here okay so you just just include here as the y1 is 3 plus 0 0.001 okay so that you get 3.00 3 eh, sorry and this is 3 okay so that's why you get the 3 here okay uh, so you just assume that 0 0.003 and divide by y not is 3 so you get 1.001 1 .001, okay and y2 is y uh, u2 here actually u2 is y2 over y0 here okay why not so you get y2 4.5 and 3 is 1.5 okay so you get the value of 1.5 Okay, so and V1 is U1 N over J. So you get the 1.001 power of N divided by the J. So you get the value, the same value as 0 0.001. Okay, and the V2 here is also the same formula here. So you get the 1.717. Okay, uh, so actually for this question, so you must find the here okay uh, so you must find the f u1 n f u2 n and f v1 j and f v2 j uh. so actually this is based on this formula okay this formula of direct integration formula uh, so the direct integration the formula is given okay so actually based on the f u n f f u2 f u1 f v2 j f v1 j is based on this step 5 okay you must find the step 5 here okay actually the f u n here okay f u n here okay you must look at the table based on u 1 here is 0 0.1.001 3.333 okay based on the the value that you get from this here okay so you get the u 1 is 1.001 0.01, 3.33 is n okay and here okay and here 3.33 and the u1 here so you get this value and u f u to n is based on the value you get and v1j and also this one so all this function you must look at the table here this table okay you get must look at the u u here and n is here Okay, uh, so you get the value here. Okay, so you must first, you look at the yeah, 1.001. Okay, so you get the 1.001. Okay, F and 3.333 for N. Okay, uh, so you get the N 3.33. U 1.001. N 3.33. N. And you must find the 3, 3, okay, and 3, 3, but you get the U, okay, 3 point, okay, 0, 0, 1, okay, you just look at the U here, you must find the 1.001, okay, and the N, you must find the 3 point, three 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 okay uh, so you must look at the side here okay so at the x here the value okay uh, so you get get the value here so the 3.2 okay 2.08 okay and the value of 3.4 is 1.856 here okay uh, so you must find the x here how to get the the value of x here so you must find that the this is three point okay so x minus by 2.8 okay so you get the value okay uh, so you get until you get the value x is okay so you get the value of one point nine zero seven okay actually how to get the one point nine zero seven here 
Okay, uh, so you must using the Okay, you must using the I will give the solution there. Okay, how to get this one and how to get this one. Okay, and how to get this solution here. Okay, so I will give the other answer in the class. Okay, so just look at the how to get here. Okay, uh, so also to find the F15.3.333 also how to get the, this one. So you must look the table also here. Okay, so the table based on the 1.5 and 3.33 okay 1.5 you must find the u is the 1.5 1.5 here okay 1.5 okay and the uh, x here is 3.333 okay uh, so you must find the value at this part here x here okay that's the between of the 0 0.211 okay and the 0 0.177 okay uh, so 3.2 so maybe you just put the 3.333 minus by 3.2 you get the value of x minus by 0 0.211 okay and uh, here 3.4 3.4 minus by 3.2 so you get the value here is 0 0.177 minus 0. 2, 1, 1. Okay, uh, so you want to get the x here. Okay, uh, so maybe you get the 3.33 minus by 3.2 is equal to x minus by 0 0.211. Okay, and 3.4 here minus by 3.2 is 0 0.117 minus by 0 0.1211. Okay, uh, so you just solve this calculation here until you get the value of x. Okay, uh, so you get the value of x is based on, so you get this x is based on the this value. So, uh, so you get the value of this one. Okay, so maybe 3.333 minus by 3.2. Okay, divide by 3.4 minus by 3.2 is equal to the value that we find here okay uh, 3.4 minus by 2 x okay x minus by 0 0.21 0 0.211 okay x minus by 0 0.211 x minus by 0 0.211 Okay, uh, so you get the value here. Okay, and 3.4. 3.4 minus by 3.2. 3.4 minus by 3.2 is 0 0.1177. 0 0.177. Okay, 0 0.177. 0 0.177. You get the 0 0.117. 0... 0.177 minus 0 0.211 okay uh, so you solve this okay you solve this one okay uh, so you solve this you get the x is it you get the value of this 0 0.1 8 8 4 uh, so you can find the value here Okay, uh, so and uh, also for the F1 and J is is equal to the same here. Okay, you must look at the okay at the same table here, but you must find the uh, V1 is the N here, and the U here is the 0 0.1.001 1 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 1.001 
1.001 so you get the this one but you get the 2.5 okay 2.5 1.001 and the 2.5 here okay and 2.5 uh, so you get to get the 2.5 so you must also same here to get okay i will just follow the rules that i mentioned here okay you can get the value of this here so you can get the value of this one and so on here okay uh, so you must refer to this one okay uh, f v1 uh, the 2.5 so you based on the v2 1.7117 and also the j 2.5 okay uh, so you must refer also the this table okay so based on this one okay uh, so this so all the concept so you get the value of this value and of this value okay after you get this value so just put in back in this formula okay so you get the u2 u1 okay f function of 0 0.1 uh, 1884 and so on until you get the length of here okay uh, so this is more complicated because you must refer to the table to get this value okay for the step 5 okay after you get the step 5 and then you get the step 6 to find the L here. Uh, so this is the and then you sketch the profile. Okay, you sketch the profile but you get the length here as not and, and the Y here. Y not and the Y here and you get the Y2 here. Okay, uh, so this is the GVF profile for using direct integration method. Uh, so this using the method 1. Now we look at the numerical integration method. Okay, this is method 2. Numerical integration method. So this formula is given. Okay, no need to worry. So all session for numerical integration is using this formula and also this formula. And rectangular channel use this formula or this formula. Okay, actually this is based on this is dy dx. Okay, but this is d dx is equal to dy over s not so all formula is given okay no need to worry okay uh, so just using which formula that you must use okay uh, so this formula is given okay but you must choose which formula that you must use when this is very wide channel using the many so you can choose this equation or this equation okay based on the Equation used here based on the dy over dx or dx over dy dx not here. Okay, uh, so this is based on the questions. So now it's very wide river. So this mentioned a very wide river with many. So actually this is the same question, the same question as example 4.7. Okay, but the example 4.7 using the direct integration method. So now we using the numerical integration method okay uh, so numerical integration method with the same question but the numerical integration is to estimate the length of non-uniform flow produced by a wheel that caused the water surface to increase as much so in the same question upstream of the wheel but we use the n is four step uh, so the numerical uh, numerical integration we use this step so we use this formula first you must calculate y0 and yc y0 is given this is the same the same method that you must find as the example 4.7 so this is the same so you find the q so you get the q and then you get the yc okay you get the yc so you get the m1 profile is the same this is the same calculation but at the second here, the, we use the S0, Y0, YC and this one. And we use this formula, okay, because to get the DX, okay. Actually, DX is find the L, to get the L. DX is to find the L of the profile, okay. So, using the DX. So, we use the DX for the very wide river here. So, we use this DX here, okay. So we use this formula because we are using the very wide river. So very wide river, so we use this formula. Okay, that's why we use this formula here. Okay, uh, so we use this formula. And and then you must draw this table. So this table is based on the y, the column 1. This is column 1. The column 2, 
the column 3, column 4 and column 5. Okay. Column 1 is Y to get Y and 2 is Y average and column 3 is based on the formula at above here and Y over its formula at the below here. Okay, so this is based on the formula. Okay, first you must find the dy. Okay, dy is delta y. We know that 4.5, 4.5 is based on this one. The increase here 4.5 minus by 3 is the y not here. So and divide by n. N is given for four step. Okay, so you get 0 0.375. Okay, uh, so 0 0.375 you must using the 4.5. Minus by 0 0.375, so you get this value. Okay, and then using this value, minus by 0 0.375, so you get this value. Okay, and then 3.75, minus by this 0 0.375 here, so you get this value. And put here, minus by this y, so you get the 3 here. Okay, actually you get the 4 step. This is 4 step. This is 1, 2, 3, Four. So they have the four step here. Okay, uh, four step. Uh, so that's why that's mean for the four step based on the use and is the four step. Uh, so that's why we have the four step here. We have the four row here. So the row here is based on the four step. Okay, uh, so after you get the y here, you must to get the y average. Okay, to get the y average, you must 4.5 plus 4.125 divided by 2 so you get this value okay so you get the 4.5 plus 4.125 and divide by 2 so you get the value of average and you get the average here based on 1.125 plus 3.750 divided by 2 so you get this value and so on okay 3.750 and plus this one you just divide by two so you get this value so this is the v y average y average from the column one here okay so after you get this one so use this column three is based on the formula here based on the formula here based on the formula here sorry Okay, based on this formula here at above, uh, above, so you put at the column 3. And this is the, at the below here, so you put at the column 4 here. Okay, uh, so use the to calculate here. Based on the YC is the YC here. Okay, divide by the Y average here and the column 2. Okay, and you get this value. Okay, and so on. Okay, it's also the Y not here is Y not. Okay, divide by the y average here based on column 2. So, you get this value based on power of 10 over 3. Okay, and dy, dx here is column, you must find the dx is dy over s0. Okay, dy, so dy over s0. Okay, so you must find the column 3. This is column 3. Divide by column, sorry, column 2, column 3, divide by column 4. Uh, so, you get the value. Okay, uh, so, dy, dy, okay, dy, you get the dy. Divide by the S0, okay, S0 is given here and you must times by column 3, divide by column 4. So, that's, you get the value here. Okay, based on this formula. So, this formula is column 3 divided by column 4 and times by dy over S0. So, you get this value. Okay, uh, so you get this value and then you get this value for L. Okay, actually the dx is the length for the profile. Okay, uh, then you just draw the profile here. So, you get based on the 3 meter, 3.375. And so on until you get the 4.5 meter. Okay, actually the 3.375 is based on the here. Okay, for 3.375, and 1.4. Actually based on this value here. So you just put the value here based on the profile. And then you get the value of this one. Okay, this one and based on the dx here. 
Okay, based on this one and this one, this one and this one until you get the 7, 7, 8, 2, 4 is based on the length here. So, this is the profile using the numerical integration. Okay, uh, so this is the, uh, the method 2, the second method. Now, we look at the third method. So, the third method, direct step method. So, direct step method using this formula. Okay, this formula is given. Okay. So, rearranging based on the S over the E or S not for S, F here. Okay, uh, so until you get the value of this X. Okay, so this is for direct step method. Uh, so, all this formula is given. Okay, no need to worry. So, you must refer this method. Okay, direct step method based on this formula. Okay, uh, so, so now using the 200 meter wide channel convey flow at uniform depth of 3 meter. Okay. Based on where which has stopped this, also use the four step. Okay, so using as the calculation based on the activity 4.8, so you must find the y not here. Okay, so the same, actually the same. Okay, the same. Uh, the same. This is a very wide river. Okay, but the activity, the the example here 4.9 is using the 200 meter wide channel. This is also the wide channel. 200 meter wide channel okay but the step for step also okay uh, so you must find the uh, the why not here and then find the q is the same calculation <coughs> okay same calculation based on the direct integration method numerical integration method and direct step method so it's also the same to find the why not q and get the yc so you get the m1 profile here okay so now we look at using the s0 y0 yc and uh, so we use the this formula okay this formula is for direct step method so direct step method is based on the formula here okay based on this formula given here okay s0 sf here actually sf is this one okay sf2 is this one okay so this is based on direct step method Okay, uh, so you find here and then you must find the dy. So dy is also we get the 0 0.375. Okay, so but for the direct step method, if four steps, so that the column you must have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, uh, you must plus 1. So that's why you have the, uh, sorry, the row here is four, 5. Okay, based on the from 4.5. Okay, actually based from the y2 here 4.5 and then you minus by 0 0.375 so you get 1.4.125 and minus by 0 0.375 so you get the 3.75 minus by 0 0.375 you get this value okay and then until you get the value of 3 actually it's based on this okay and this one okay that's why you get the from 4.5 until you get the 3 here okay so you get the value here and the r okay r is based on the y here because the white channel okay the white channel is also the rectangular channel so the this is called the r is equal to y so that's why we get the add the column so the direct step they have 10 column here okay so the second column okay column two here we get the r here r is based on the y because the white channel so that's why the r is the same for the column one okay uh, so the same as the column one and now we look at the column three to get the velocity okay uh, so you must get the velocity based on the q is equal to a v okay so to get the v velocity so it's equal to q over a okay and we know that the q sorry q is equal to q over b okay uh, so you must refer to this to get the q so q okay q b is okay q b a and so on Okay, uh, so you get the value here. Okay, uh, so you must find the based on the value here to get the velocity. Okay, and we know that Q is equal to Q over B. 
okay so q is equal to q b is q okay uh, q is equal to q b so the q is q b divided by the a okay uh, so you get the the velocity here okay the velocity based on the based on the q that you find from the q here okay the q here okay uh, so maybe you want to get the the q is equal to okay q is equal to q over b okay uh, so the q is equal to q over b and b we know that the b is 200 Okay, and the B is 200 meter wide. Okay, uh, so you get the, the Q is, okay, so you get the 3.987 times by 200. Okay, uh, so you get the value here. So you get the value Q here and then you just put the at V here. So Q divided by the A area is based on the R here. Okay, you must calculate. Okay, uh, so you get the R r of the from the this one so you get the value here at v okay at the column three and then at column four you base on the velocity two divided by two g so you get this value okay uh, so you get based on step by step okay and then at the five column column five here you get the e okay e actually is based on the e here okay e is the y plus the the sorry the y that the specific energy that you find from the sorry from the here e this one okay ah uh, this one e is the y plus b to square over two g ah uh, so you get the e y So you get the E for this one. E is the Y plus V squared over 2G. Uh, so you get the Y. Y is Y you 4.5. Keep. Okay, you get the value here until you get the y plus the v to square the column that in the column 5 column 1 plus column 4 so you get the value here okay okay uh, and the 5 here okay from the y here y plus v2 so the column 1 is equal column 1 plus column 4 Okay, this is column. Okay, and then at the column 6, you get the DE. Okay, DE is... DE is based on the value here. This is... Uh, so, you must find the DE over the S is S1, F, F, So, you get the DE. Okay, DE. Okay, uh, so you get the DE based on the just this one minus by this one you get the 0 0.367 here okay so this one minus this one so you get this value okay 4.540 minus by 4.173 you get 0 0.367 this one minus this one so you get this one okay this was minus so you get this value this one minus this one, so you get this value. This one minus this one, you get this value. Okay, so you get the DE here. Okay, to get the SF here, SF here, so you must using the calculation of HF here. So HF is based on the, the value of SF here. SF here based on the value of, sorry. 
so you must refer also to the first uh, analysis of the GBF profile so you must SF here based on the SF the SF is based on the sorry where is the SF here this one okay uh, so SF here based on this Okay, SF is n squared over times by the V2 and R here. So you must use this formula, SF for the energy slope. So the in column, so the in column here, okay, so in column 7 here. So use the formula from the, the previous slide. Then you must find the value here, SF, and then you must the average here, okay. The, to get the column A, so based on our average here, 1.294 plus this one, divide by 2, so you get this value. This 1 plus this 1, divide by 2, you get this value. This 1 plus this 1, divide by 2, you get this value. This 1 plus, plus this 1, divide by 2, you get this value. And then as not here, okay, minus by the column 8, okay. The column 9 is the as not minus by column 8, and you get this value. Okay, and the 10 here, dx. Okay, dx, you get the de divided by s naught minus by sf to get the dx. Okay, so dx from the column 10, so you must based on column 6, okay, divide by column 9. Okay, so the this one is column 6, okay, divide by column 9. So you get the value here, you get this value. Okay, and just plus of this value, you get this value. Okay, until you get this value. And you just draw the and sketch the profile. So, this is the step, the method 3. So, activity 4.10 is also the same as the method 3. Okay, direct step method. So, you must first find the Y0 and YC. And you must find the M1 profile. And then, you must use the 10 column here 10 column to direct step here you must find the y r v v squared over 2 g e d e until you get the dx okay so dx is you get this value okay try to do this example okay if you can do this example you can do your final okay and you sketch the profile okay so this is the assignment or in tutorial okay just to do this one. That's all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We finished our chapter 4. That's all.